The world has massively changed in just the last few years with the advent of AI. The scale of the transformation is like on the scale of the industrial revolution. Robotics, bringing that AI to the physical world is what's next. My name is Joe Mullenbach. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Fluid Reality. My co-founder Craig and I, we've spent a lot of time looking at different haptics technologies and also looking at what human beings need in order to receive the sense of touch from the digital world. Today's leading edge robotics models are about imitation learning. People operate robots through teleoperation. They, they see what the robot sees and the robot is mimicking what the human is doing. Today, that is done completely without the sense of touch. What we're doing is bringing that sense of touch to the human operators. Fluid Reality's technology is complicated, but simple to understand. We create high resolution bubbles that imprint shape into your skin. You can think of them like pixels for the sense of touch. Fluid Reality enables people to do fine manipulation tasks through robotics. The hardest thing when building a hard tech startup is making the transition from demonstrating that you have something really interesting and have made a breakthrough and, and getting that to being a mass producible, repeatable product. In my opinion, that's where mHub really shines. There are two major areas that we really use mHub. One is for the, the physical resources, the equipment. The second part is kind of the broader network. Access to experts, advice, education. No startup is successful on their own. And for us, being part of mHub is necessary in, in order to get where we're trying to go. The future that we envision for fluid reality is for an individual, someone who is not trained, especially in, in robotics, to be able to sit down with their robot, operate it, do the task that they're trying to do through their robot twin, and then amplify their own productivity. This new robotics revolution is gonna reshape everything. And if we're not part of that, we're gonna be left behind, not just in the Midwest, but as a, as a country as well.